These concerns are some of the key factors to why nurses decided to unionize last year. In this post pandemic era, RGH nurses argue management has not made up for staff loss and as a result, the quality of patient care has suffered. But hospital leadership assures positive changes are happening. Leaders with Rochester Union of Nurses and Allied Professionals reported RGH patients develop multiple infections above average rates while in their care. Data that's verified by Leapfrog Group, who gave the hospital a D for their spring of 2023 grade. And that's not acceptable for our community. That means that patients are dying unnecessarily and that patients are having infections that shouldn't have infections and are requiring longer lengths of stay. Jennifer Esslinger serves as president for healthcare operations at Rochester General Hospital. She argues this grade is based on data from 2019 through 2022 and improvements are being made now. We put in place a dashboard, a, a scorecard. We started working on patient experience. We worked on uh, key quality initiatives, really focusing on care experience, patient safety indicators, as well as hospital acquired infections. Since October, nurses of RGH claim negotiations to balance the nurse patient ratio have gone nowhere. Now in some units, assignments are double what they usually would be. Hopefully it would be like a, a one to five, one to six uh, for safe care to be given, but they're uh, sometimes up to 10 patients. We got to a unit and they were understaffed and they had uh, a patient who was in danger of sliding out of a chair. They didn't have enough people on board in the unit at that time to get her back into the chair. Hospital management disputes ratios get that high and nurses only look after multiple patients who are no longer the most vulnerable of the sickest. Staffing to acuity, a one to three might be appropriate. There is a piece of paper that says it might should be one to two, but the piece of paper doesn't take into account what is happening with the patient's clinical condition. And RGH leaders expect to hire another 200 nurses by the end of this year. But veteran nurses already employed there argue this doesn't close the gap in experience with so many newcomers joining without proper guidance to offer the right care.